Hi guys, so how are you? I'm Robin. Welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. This little world right here is man for himself. If you like men's hair product reviews, grooming, skincare, fragrance and videos like this, then this channel is for you. Please do press subscribe right now. Right, I am, I'm really enjoying having this longer hair and growing it out and I think I've kind of passed that awkward-ish stage. Definitely still having moments, definitely still tucking it behind my ears, um, but I'm feeling quite good about this. And I'm kind of fairly new to the whole growing my hair out. And I thought, while a lot of us are thinking about this, it might be a good idea to get the guys that really do know. Now, these are some barbers that I know and who we've had on the channel before. And I thought, let's get them on for some top tips for you to follow. So here you go, here's Ben, Alan, Matthew, Mikey, and Wes. Ultimately, don't touch it. Leave it alone if you can. If you are gonna tie the areas up, then what I would say is just trim the back of the neck to keep that a little bit tidier. If you're a stickler for having it a little bit neater around the edges and obviously clean up through this area, if you want that to be a little bit neater. If you've got a lot of volume in your hair, now's a good time to maybe use a slightly heavier product such as a wax or a pomade or even a gel to make it a little bit flatter if it's feeling a little bit too sort of big. Always wash it. Make sure it's nice and clean before you style it. Use a hairdryer. Use different products to have a little bit of an experiment and try your hair in different directions. See how it styles from left to right and right to left. See how it styles forward and then back. Just have a little bit of a play around with it and see what suits you. The longer your hair gets, the more variation of style you'll be able to have. Your hair's gonna go through some pretty big peaks and troughs um, as you're trying to grow it through. So it might be better to think about the, the less is more approach. So maybe just towel drying the hair and leaving the hair more natural um, until you get to a point where your hair is long enough to be manipulated. Secondly, always look at images for points of reference. So whether that be on Instagram or whether that be on the internet, um, I think it's good to be able to look at an image and look at your own hair and assess whether there's a similar length there that you can you can do something with. Thirdly, I think the, the use of products is going to be really interesting as your hair grows through. So the products that you were using when your hair was a bit shorter, um, maybe if it was a matte clay, is either not maybe going to work as well as your hair gets longer or you're going to have to maybe use it in a completely different way. So instead of using it on dry hair, you might want to use a smaller amount on wet hair. You can use a lot of product in short hair and you can get that texture, but as your hair gets longer, you might want a bit more of a natural feel and natural finish. And on that sort of inspiration, there is a new Instagram account. It is Man for Hair, set up by me, hi. And this has got all the hairstyles that we've got in the hairstyle directory. There'll be more coming up. So it should hopefully give you a little bit of a sort of a, a visual inspiration for what you might want to do with your hair. Also has sort of product suggestions, it has what to ask your barber, how to style it yourself at home. So it's not just a pretty picture, it's got some information there. But anyway, follow it, back to Mikey. Everyone with uh, longer hair, especially men, they don't like volume. It's like it starts puffing out here. So what I would suggest to uh, eliminate that would be to, when you get out of the shower, towel dry it 50%. Add a uh, cream-based product. Uh, I'd recommend Momo from Davinus, non-sticky, great for this. Um, I'd apply the product through the hair. I kind of style it into the position I want it and then I would not touch it until it's bone dry. Uh, the reason for not touching it until it's bone dry is you don't want to create volume. The moment you start touching your hair while it's drying, you're going to be starting creating root lift, which will bring you to volume. So best thing to do, let your hair dry naturally. Do not touch it while it's drying. Add a cream-based product and then you're good to go. If you want to keep your hair healthy, you don't want to overwash it. So you may want to take your washes down to a couple times a week and a condition maybe once or twice. Overwashing your hair can dry your scalp and actually prevent you growing healthy hair. Secondly, is knowing how your hair lays. All you need to do is get a comb, get it wet and just run through it a few times and see how it naturally falls. You might find your hair falls a completely different way that you weren't used to. And this might help you find a new style. Lastly, is product. A lot of people make the uh, assumption that the longer that your hair gets, 
the more product you need. If anything, it's the complete opposite. The longer your hair gets, the more you're going to find that you might not necessarily even need a product to style it. Maybe a pre-blow dry lotion if you want to blow dry your hair, a bit of sea salt spray. The ultimate idea is that you can completely not touch a finishing product and then you can just use a, a pre-product. The main thing is get your condition of your hair right. Don't overwash it. Find out how much product you need rather than trying to put too much on to try and control it. And then eventually everything should fall into place. So really a couple of key themes there. One is stick with it. Go with it. Find out what that new normal is with your hair. See which way the hair naturally lies. Kind of see how uh, different products work with it. You know, having a different sort of matte finished product with loads of texture might not be the best product for you now with sort of longer hair. So do experiment and see how you get on. Also another one, hair health. Having a clean scalp is gonna provide stronger hair. It's gonna speed up that growth. I don't really like talking about the you know faster ways to grow. It all comes down to your personal health and also your own hair. And hair goes through different sort of growth stages. So give your hair the best possible start it can have by keeping your scalp clean. But there you go. Thank you very much to the barbers who got involved. Always so great, always sending some top tips. I'll have more of these sort of videos coming up. So if you've got suggestions or ideas, let me know. Also that man for hair Instagram account, I'd love to see you across there. It's just gonna be purely hair. So if you want a bit of hairstyle inspiration, you wanna kinda of know what products to use, and you just like hairstyles, then come across and follow. And if you're still new to this, you're still not pressed, subscribe, not follow, then please do press subscribe right now. There's also more on screen here, the hairstyles directory, the Instagram accounts are up there, and there's another video suggestion there. But until my next new video, bye-bye.